And we're following the addiction theme and the death of music superstar Prince and the investigation into his death. Hollywood is once again rocked with the realization that addiction to pain medication is a big problem in Tinseltown. And joining us to discuss the ongoing issue of celebrity addiction is celebrity psychotherapist and program director of the Renew Center of Florida, Dr. Lisa Palmer. This has become such a problem, not only in Hollywood, but throughout America. What is the reason? Addiction is a huge problem everywhere, but especially since we're talking about celebrities. Celebrities are under more pressure than ever. Their stress level is so, so high. Um, but I think that being a celebrity draws so much attention, so the spotlight is obviously very much on so them. For people watching at home, you know, we see this with celebrities, but mm -hmm. what are some of the signs that you might see with a friend or a spouse, someone that you think met, and what are the first signs? People with addictions usually hide it pretty well. So sometimes the signs are hard to uncover, but oftentimes they have, you know, mood instability. So that is definitely something, uh, depression, anxiety, social isolation, these are definitely some signs. So in, the, I guess, recent years, it's really the pain medication. And so tell mm -hmm. us, you know, how do you get addicted to an opioid so quickly? Is it, does it happen that quickly? It can, like I said, a lot of times it starts with, you know, someone has a surgery for a problem and they get started on using an opioid. And then because they have some type of psychological issue or they have some type of relationship problem, then they start using the painkiller as a way to cope with their you know, they're angst, mm -hmm. and then it becomes part of the, you know, the whole problem. So even when the physical pain from the surgery is mm -hmm. gone, they're still using it? They're using it as a way to numb, use, as a way to self-medicate and deal with their Has emotions. it been a problem that um, doctors are over-prescribing? Do you feel like that's an issue? Of course. I mean, I think it also takes two to tango. I think there's an issue with people having the lack of coping skills to actually deal with their life. Losing faith in the medical system, losing faith in the mental health system, and then trying to turn to their own ways to resolve their problems. So is there a problem with doctors prescribing these medications? Yes. There's also a problem with people not having the coping skills mm -hmm. to deal with life properly and sort of losing faith in the you know, the mental health system. So if you feel like you do have a problem or someone you know, what's the, the best way to get some help? The best way to get some help is to find good help. You know, mm -hmm. do your research, uh, interview, ask around, ask for support. And I think that one of the things is that a lot of people have a hard time asking for help. And uh, sometimes this is especially a problem with celebrities because right. they don't want their information to be known. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're very private, and Prince was a very private person. So um, that is definitely, you know, asking for help is the number one thing to do. Okay, mm -hmm. you heard it. So for more information on addiction, you can head to our website, studiodetelevision.com, and we will connect you with Dr. Palmer. Thank you for being here.